What are the top three things locals hate about living in St. Johns County, Florida? I know it's kind of a catchy title, but I thought, hey, let's give not only the good, but also the bad and the ugly. So if we haven't met, my name is Josh Riders. I'm a real estate agent that leads a wonderful real estate team called the F3 Home Team, which stands for Faith, Family, and Freedom. We're with EXP Realty, and we're here to serve you and be trusted advisors, giving you information and knowledge to help you through the process. So top three reasons, well, that's easy. First and foremost, it's the heat, but not just the heat. It's the humidity that comes with the heat. There's a lot of places all over the country in the summer that's teetering around 100 degrees, but my family and I just went to the Pacific Northwest or even the Midwest. 100 degrees there is very different than 100 degrees here with 100% humidity. It's a swamp. If we're just being honest, it's a swamp. And when you walk outside, you're going to break a sweat. I call it two shirt kind of day because I'll wear one shirt in the morning and switch out my second shirt to finish out the day. So the humidity is suffocating, but guess what? There's something called air conditioning and you're literally just living your life from the air conditioning in your home into the air conditioning in your car to the air conditioning in school or air conditioning in your office. And if you need to do anything outside, you generally do it in the morning, probably before 8 o'clock a.m. or in the evening after 7.30, 8 o'clock in the evening. The second reason locals hate St. John's County would be because of the bugs. Uh, it's, it's Florida. We have like dinosaur-sized bugs, specifically two bugs that come to mind, maybe a third one, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are just exhausting. Some places are worse than others, but you can use all the sprays and all that kind of stuff. But if you back up to a nature preserve or a retention pond or a marsh, the mosquitoes are going to, going to be an issue. The second thing early in the summer are the yellow flies. And those are just absolutely brutal because they're fast, they're kind of big, and they hurt. So that's the other part. The third type of bug that is an annoyance only for specific uh, homeowners in specific areas would be no -seums. Those are the tiny little gnats that like they bite you in tiny, tiny little gnats. And so like trying to like hit them or swap them is a very futile uh, experience or attempt. And so for me, like those little gnats kind of like get in my hair and like bite my scalp. It's crazy. So that's the second reason we hate St. John's County is because of the bugs. And you can just stay inside or put up a screen lanai to keep the bugs out. The third reason locals hate St. John's County is because of the skyrocketing housing prices. Now, while it's wonderful because all of us have doubled or tripled the equity in our homes over the past so many years, a lot of us are handcuffed to that equity and we can't use it because if we were to sell our current homes, while our equity and home prices have skyrocketed, guess what else has skyrocketed? All the other available homes that we would then buy. And so not just housing prices that have skyrocketed, that largely has really stretched our limits as locals. We've kind of been outpriced in our own market, but then also interest rates that are 6% and 7%. So many of us that have bought over the past 10 to 12 years, have locked in rates below 4%. So if we were to sell right now, we would, we would be also buying high, but then doubling or tripling our interest rate. So a lot of us right now are handcuffed to our properties. Not a bad thing, not a good thing, it just is what it is. So I don't wanna sound like we're complaining, but I know a lot of people would like a different property, a new property, and they really, uh, they can't do it. So those are the three reasons locals hate St. John's County. Now there's many, many other reasons why we love it here and choose to stay here. Let me know your questions, first of all, about St. John's County. And also let me know your comments. What are reasons other locals hate St. John's County? And let's continue the discussion. And as you have questions, which everyone does, I hope you'll reach out to my real estate team as trusted advisors to help you through that process, answer questions, find out what's important to you and help you cross the finish line for you and your family. We're here for you and I'll see you on the next video.